Week two of the Open is bringing up a lot of past trauma. The shuttle run was a new challenge last year in the quarterfinals. The quarterfinal athletes are maybe not the best of the best, but they're certainly the medium of the medium. And yet hundreds, maybe thousands of them couldn't grasp the concept of the shuttle, doing basically half the workout and throwing off the leaderboard. Now shuttle runs are in the open. Over 300,000 people are doing the open this year, according to Morning Chalk Up. On the one hand, I'm happy. My prediction from last video was correct. Oh, and if shuttle runs come up in week two, on the other hand, I'm sad. I'm sad for all the instructions that will go unread, for all the shuttles that will go unrun, and for all the athletes that will go unranked. Folks, I'm calling on you to donate. No, not 25 cents per day for starving children or abused puppies, that's not what's important right now. For your contribution of just 25 feet per shuttle, you can bring peace of mind to a fitness web liberty. Call the number on your screen to donate now. This message brought to you by the SPCA, the Shuttle Preservation and Conservation Association. Okay, for this 15 minute workout, efficiency will come into play. The burpee pull up is a new challenge, so let's talk strategy. Here's probably the worst way to do it. Coiling in a squat from the bottom of the burpee and exploding all the way up to the bar. Think about jumping to slam dunk a basketball. Do you do a full squat or do you just jump from a natural tall position? If you need to kip, you can, but it is quite slow. I would recommend playing with a hybrid jump strict kip pull where you jump naturally to the bar and use your arms to get your chin to the target. If you get the timing right, you can add a knee drive to pop you up. This is something that will benefit from practice, so try a few different versions. For the shuttle run, something I see a lot is athletes waddling about in the turnaround. The objective is not to sprint into the line and then deal with the turn however. At the turn, your velocity must be zero, so start leaning back ahead of time. <coughs> You actually want to leave your shoulders and your hips as far as you can towards the center of the room because that's where you're going next. Practice this, leaning back as you cross the line. Then work on touching the hand down right before you accelerate. This workout ends with a heavy thruster. Let me tell you a story. At the start of this video, we mentioned PTSD. Well, back in 2011, there was a thruster ladder at regionals and the rule was you could not move your feet. If you moved your feet, you got a no rep. If you got a no rep on the first bar of the ladder, you pretty much got a DNF on the workout. If you got a DNF on the workout, you were essentially out of the competition. That 155 pound thruster is the most stressful lift I have ever done. And if you're wondering, yes, in 2011, there were athletes who moved their foot on a single light thruster and were out of the competition. So I hope your open goes better than their regionals and better than my quarterfinals.